eventually you have to determine for yourself who you want to be. Do you want to be a couch potato or the one who develops something? I am in favor of total enlightenment of people just to give them maximum access to the information so that they can realize for themselves what is important in the fact and what is not, so they can make their own choice. They will become happier because they will take responsibility for their lives. Look, here's the funny thing, and I strongly recommend your subscribers and viewers to Google it. As of today, humanity has not come to a consensus of what attention actually is. First, we need to understand what attention actually is and then to fit it to the modern world conditions. You should create a good habit for yourself of making the world a better place. When you take care of your health and you're in social networks, you already influence others. Technology is a tool like hammer. You can hammer in a nail or you can break through a wall. And I think that the question is not about technology, but about the people that use it. All the problems start not when bad people do something, but when good people do nothing. It seems to me that for people who can say something good, it is necessary to start saying it. Humaneness should be developed in us. And then it can be scaled with the help of technologies. First and foremost, it is necessary to put meaning in your business and not just seek to profit. Then I think this transformation will happen. The Internet is more about people than news. I would like to wish readers and all information consumers to at least use opposite points of view and to get familiar not only with negative information, but also with positive one. If there is normal, high-quality content, that is, content that brings a lot of positive emotions, then of course, people will look at it and will be interested in it. We have all the resources and all the tools in order to improve the human values in society. The most important value is human life, and we want to share it with the whole world. Who would speak about it if not media resources? We have to ring all the bells and say, guys, think about what you will leave for our children, what will happen next. Let's make it so there are fewer wars and more space exploration. As it is said, in a human everything should be beautiful. When everything is beautiful in society, relationships between people will also be better. We understand each other, so recently we can get more knowledge of each other through our design and technology. We can help people change themselves. We can give people the truth to help them begin to change themselves. It is overcoming new challenges every day, solving them and self-improvement. We need to stop being afraid of the future. First of all, it will come anyway, and it is unproductive to be afraid of it. And secondly, it is actually not so terrible. I would like to wish all people around the world to feel the internal value of other people in their life. Of course, I would like to wish all the people in the world to become carriers of these universal human values, to set an example for other people. And thus the situation in the whole world will change for the better. It's really great that you do it globally. You connect the whole world and by this approach charge the whole society with your ideas. You ask questions which every person should ask himself at certain stages of self-development. And the older we get, the more often we should ask ourselves these questions. And also, you should watch this wonderful TV channel.